uh, you cried in private. But the Lord would say, I'm about to bless you in public. Yeah, you've cried some tears. The Bible does say in Psalms 30, the middle part of verse 6, weeping may endure for a night, but joy, someone say joy. Come on, guys, joy. Jesus, others, yourself comes when? Next week, next, oh my God, joy comes in the morning. There was a time, guys, was weeping, crying in a trial. A woman in a prayer meeting read that scripture. Morning came, I cried no more. It was over. Can you imagine the Lord can turn your captivity like that? Boom, just like that. Ha! That's the God we serve. Hallelujah. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Sometimes crying is not bad, guys, even for the guys. It releases emotions and cleanses the soul. You know, in Revelations, it said he's going to wipe away every tear. Ha! I don't know if the oceans of the earth, well, you can see the sort of... The water behind me here, hallelujah. Isn't that nice? It's a bay. But, um, you know, there was a powerful Bible school there across that bay in the 70s and 80s called Pinecrest. They had a two-week visit. I didn't mean to say this. Two-week visitation of the Lord in the school. Closed the classes. The kids were laid prostrate all over the floor. There's a powerful Bible school there some, some decades ago here in New York. Hallelujah. But the Lord can turn your captivity. He can change your season. He's done it over and over and over. Joseph was so jacked up. He was in prison. Part of his wife tried to seduce him. They all forgot the butler, baker, candlestick maker. The Lord said, shave, get new clothes on. You're coming out. And we, we, we love Psalms 23. He sets a table before you. Where in the presence of your enemies? Your enemies aren't always people, guys. Come on. It's not your in-laws, your outlaws. Your enemies, you could have financial enemies. You could have enemies in the health realm. Sickness, disease, infirmity. Relationship enemies. Spiritual enemies. Ha! How many have spiritual enemies? My God, in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. You're taking the tears away. I see a woman. You're crying and lamenting over a relationship. The Lord says you're going to cry no more. And I'm going to say this to you by the word of the Lord, my sister. God's got better for you. God has got better for you. Don't forget that. And when it comes, you're going to remember this word was for you. Holly, don't cry over spilt milk. Sometimes when it's over, it's over. It's not bad, man. God can restore things, but he's got better. He's going to wipe away your tears. The Lord bless you guys. Amen.